Hi, and welcome to Real Recaps. Today, we shall recap a 2018 action science fiction movie titled The Guardians of the Galaxy. In the opening scene, young Peter Quill is in the waiting room of a hospital, listening to the awesome mixtape on his Walkman while waiting for his grandpa to come get him so he can say goodbye to his dying mother. His mother, before she passes out, gives him a kind gift and tells him that he is just like his father. She wants to hold his hand, but he's too afraid to take hold of his dying mother's hand. Later on, she dies amidst every family member. Peter runs outside, and a spaceship comes and takes him away. 26 years later, an adult Peter Quill, also known as the Star-Lord, a character played by Chris Pratt, is looking for a mysterious orb on the planet Morag. As he have some little fun, Korath and his men find Peter and begin to start questioning him before they could engage in a fight. Immediately, after the fight, Peter gets away and goes back to his ship, the Milano. Korath does not give up, he further peruses him but he does not succeed. Yondu, his dealer partner and teacher, played by Michael Rooker, calls and tells him to give the orb to him. Peter decides that he will sell it himself. Peter believes he can get so much money from selling the orb. Meanwhile, Korath goes back to tells Ronan on the Kree warship Darkaster that he failed to get the orb and he further reveals that Quill now has it. Ronan sends Nebula after him, but Gamora steps up and offers to go instead. Quill takes the orb to a buyer on the planet Xandar and asks what it is, since Ronan's gang were also after it. The buyer decides all of a sudden that he doesn't want it, so he kicks Peter out of his shop. Gamora jumps on Peter outside and tries to get the orb by herself. Rocket and Groot, who are nearby, using their advanced technology gadgets see that there is a price on Quill's head and join the fight. Everybody who knows the orb now wants to take possession of it. Not long after, Nova Headquarters arrests them all and sends them to a space prison called the Kiln. Oh, and Stan Lee is also on Xandar, question them at the headquarters before sending them off to the prison cell where they belong. At first, Quill does not want to enter the cell before he is forced after receiving a serious beating from the prison guards. Now, at the cell, because Gamora is Thanos' daughter, almost everyone in prison wants to kill her. Dave Bautista's character, Drax the Destroyer, has a grudge against her because Ronan killed his wife and daughter, so he wants her to kill one of his family members to get revenge. Gamora says that she, too, doesn't like Ronan and was planning to trick him. Quill steps in and helps Gamora's side of the argument. Ronan tells Thanos a character played by Josh Brolin at Sanctuary that Gamora is a traitor. Well, I guess it's because she tried to grab the orb from her. Thanos tells him to look after her and get the orb. He also says that Gamora is his favorite child, which makes Nebula mad. Back at the cell, Gamora's intention is to sell the orb to another person. Quill, Rocket, and Groot decide to work together and share the reward. Rocket has a plan for how to get out of jail. He needs a wrist device from a guard, a prosthetic leg from a prisoner, and a battery from a tall column in the prison. As he tells Groot how important it is to take the battery last, Groot goes for it first. When the alarms go off, security droids come flying in. Gamora goes to get something to wear on her wrist while Quill talks to the prisoner's leg. Drax decides to escape with them, too, because he knows Ronan will eventually go after Gamora and he can kill Ronan himself at that point. Everyone gets what they need and makes it to a guard station near the top of the prison. Rocket is surprised that Quill actually got the leg and says that he didn't really need it. It was funny. Rocket sets up the parts to turn off the gravity in the prison and fly the guard station out of the prison using the security droids as jets. They get away, but Quill goes back and starts beating the guards before he asks one of them for his Walkman. Meanwhile, Yandu goes to his broker and finds out that Quill still has the orb. On Quill's ship, everyone gets to know each other better. Much as they are a team, they hate each other very much. Soon they arrive at nowhere to meet with the Collector. Meanwhile, Ronan and his guys are already at the prison in search of Quill and his group. He tortures the prisoners and questions them deeply about their whereabout. Unfortunately, nobody knows where they are. Also, Gandu tracks and locate the buyer and teases him to find out more about the orb. He wants to know how special it is and why everybody wants to take possession of it. Drax, Rocket, and Groot get drunk and gamble while they wait for their appointment. Gamora and Quill bond over music. They share some of the deep secrets together. He says that his mom made the mixtape for him by putting together her favorite songs. She likes what she hears. He asks her to dance, but she refuses. He says that it makes him think of an old story about people who didn't dance. He makes a move on her, but she tells him she's not one of the doe-eyed girls he's used to and she won't fall for his pelvic sorcery. Drax, Rocket, and Groot fight a lot before they can meet with the Collector because they are all drunk. 
Rocket is tired of people calling him a rat, which is what Drax thinks of Groot. The assistant of the Collector goes and gets them, and then they all go to meet him. Drax leaves the group and calls someone. When the Collector opens the orb, an Infinity Stone falls out. He says that it is something all-powerful. More of them are out there. The orb is so powerful that it can destroy planets. His assistant is fed up with him and grabs the stone to destroy him. She and everything around her go up in flames. With the Infinity Stone, everyone is able to get away. They decide that Nova Headquarters is the safest place to take it and now, they think it could be destructive if it falls in wrong hands. Oh no, Ronan and his group have set up a trap. That's what Drax decided. He was sick of having to wait to fight Ronan. Yandu also shows up. Gamora, Rocket, and Quill leave in small mining ships while Nebula and soon goons chase after them. Immediately Gandu arrives, he was ambushed by the Nova Headquarters army who cornered him and threatened to end his reign but, through the powerful magical stick of his, Gandu was able to kill all of them in a matter of few seconds. Navala attacks Gamora and Drax the Destroyer faces Korath as Groot and Quill face other rivals. While Rocket is busy throwing missiles, the group mercilessly defeat Ronan's group. Nebula is beaten and defeated before she is thrown down by Gamora. There is further an intensive fight before Drax faces Ronan. Drax tries to fight Ronan, but Ronan beats him up. Ronan says he doesn't even remember killing his family, and he won't remember killing Drax either. He beats Drax so badly and throws him in water. Gamora's ship is being chased by Nebula above the atmosphere, where she blows it up. She gets the Infinity Stone and then throws Gamora into space, before she dies. Quill calls Yondu to tell him where he is. He then gets off his ship and gives Gamora his mask to keep her alive. Grout helps Drax and saves him by making him vomit all the water he had taken. Quill and Gamora are about to die when Yondu comes and takes them away. Here, we see that it's the same ship that took Quill when he was a child. Ronan tells Thanos on the Darkest Door that he has changed his mind about the deal and will destroy Xandar himself, then go after Thanos. Yondu is so furious, he says he's going to kill Quill for lying to him, but he won't because Quill has a plan to get the orb back. The Guardians ask him on the Milano if he really has a plan or if he was just lying. He says he has an idea of what to do. A plan's 12% likely to succeed. Everybody laughs. Quill says that they've already lost so much that they have nothing left to lose at this point. They work together to make a plan work. Quill tells Nova HQ on Xandar that Ronan is coming to destroy them, so they should get ready. Rocket is going to blow a hole in Ronan's ship so Quill, Groot, Drax, and Gamora can get on it. Gamora will cut the power to Ronan's security, and then they will use a cannon that Rocket made to blow him up. They begin making plans. Rocket blows a hole in the darkest door and then helps Yondu and his men defend Xandar from Ronan's fighter ships. Yondu gets shot down, but he uses his arrows to kill a whole platoon of bad guys. Gamora and Nebula have a big fight on the darkest door, while Drax, Quill, and Groot go to the ship's bridge. The Nova ships come together to make a big net that slows the darkest door's fall. Gamora finally beats Nebula. Nebula falls and lands on a Ravager ship. Gamora takes over the ship and throws the Ravager out the window. Ronan tells his ships to crash into Xandar in a suicide attack. Rocket and his men try to shoot down as many ships as they can. Drax kills Korath when they are almost to the bridge. Groot turns a group of bad guys into a shish kebab and whips them around, killing even more. Everyone gets to the bridge where they will fight Ronan. Again, he is too strong for them, but Quill uses Rocket's super cannon to shoot him. It has no effect. Rocket crashes the Milano into the bridge, and it looks like Ronan is no longer alive. Ronan comes back after surviving the rocket and strikes Drax. As the whole ship falls towards Xandar, Groot makes a big nest around the Guardians to protect them. Rocket is sad because he knows that what Groot is doing will kill him. Up until this point, Groot has only said, I am Groot. Now, he says, we are Groot. The ship goes down. Everyone is fine except for Groot. Groot looks like a big pile of twigs. Ronan is still fine, though, so it's not over. He made fun of Quill and his team by calling them the Guardians of the Galaxy. Quill walks up to him and starts to sing the song Uwu Child. Ronan asks what he's doing. He responds, distracting you as Drax and Rocket shoot Ronan again. Quill grabs the Infinity Stone from Ronan. It's going to kill him, but Gamora tells him to take her hand. He flashes back to when he didn't have the courage to take his mom's hand, so he grabs hers. Drax and Rocket grab him too and the power from it is spread between the four of them. They finally kill Ronan before Quill has a vision of his dying mother. Now that the giant monster is dead, everything else seems normal. Yondu shows up and demands the stone as per his original deal with Quill. Quill hands him the orb. 
As Yondu and his men take off, one of them notes that he likes Quill and they're glad they didn't take him back to his dad like they were supposed to all those years ago. Gamora is upset that Quill gave up the stone, but he reveals that he still has the orb with the stone. Rocket and Drax deeply mourns Groot. Back at Nova headquarters, Peter learns he's only half human and half something else. Yondu opens his orb and sees that Quill tricked him. Inside is a troll doll. Quill finally opens the present his mom gave him as a kid. It's a second awesome mixtape. He asks the Guardians where they want to go. Gamora says, you lead, Star-Lord. He asks if they want something good or something bad, then decides on both. Rocket holds a tiny Groot planted in a pot. During the credits, a little version of Groot dances in the pot to Quill's music, but stops when Drax looks at him. After the credits, the Collector is sitting on the wreckage, drinking when the Russian dog comes up and licks his face. The scene cuts to Howard the Duck, sitting next to a broken cage, drinking as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the movie. Please like, comment with your favorite part of the movie and subscribe to see more films like this and I shall see you in the next film. Take care. Peace.